sweets or plain food? Wait, honey, choose the plain food. It's not good that you eat sweets all the time. But mom, I don't like eating plain food. It's for your own health. <sighs> Fine. Mom, I'm hungry. Oh, it just happens that I don't have any more plain food. <sighs> Seriously? Why didn't you stock up on plain food? You knew I'd be hungry by now. Why do you always rely on me? Go buy it yourself. It's okay, I'll just starve myself to death. Sis, if you want, you can just eat my cake. But it's sweet, isn't it? Mom told me to choose the sweet option. The food is really delicious. Mom, this isn't fair. Why can't she eat sweet food and I can't? Stop fighting over food. Hey, I would like to buy some plain food. Sorry, but we don't have any plain food options. Everyone chose sweet food. Everyone? That cheesecake was so amazing. No, the ice cream was even better. I like the chocolate cake. Okay, can I just have one plain bread, please? Sure, the price is 50 pounds. 50 pounds for one slice of bread? Okay, whatever, it's better than starving, right? Wait, that bread is moldy, why are you eating it? It is? I just bought it off the canteen. Just buy some sweets. I can't, I've already chosen plain food. What am I going to do now? I'm going to starve to death. Luckily, I still have some plain food with me. Thank you so much. I'm full. Class, today we're going to be guessing the food. If you get all the answers right, the food is yours. Can I participate? Yes, of course. That's apples, that's a cinnamon bun, that's olives, and that's yogurt. Well done, the food is yours. Thank you so much, sir. Amara, all the food is moldy. Wait, what? Why? Why haven't you eaten yet, Amara? I chose plain food, which turned out to be rare. If you get really hungry, it could get dangerous. Dangerous? Why? Your family will also be affected. Does that mean they're all gonna die? Yep, that's right. Hey babe, what kind of food are you eating? It looks really good. A chocolate bun, but you can't eat that, right? You have to feed me, I can't hold it, otherwise it'll get moldy. Oh yeah, you're smart, I'll feed you. It's really delicious, but why am I still hungry? I think if you eat any sweet food, it won't fill you up. You have to eat plain food. Where else can I look for plain food? Everyone on the road are selling sweet food. Hey you, just eat this. What is this? I can't eat any sweets, only plain food. Just trust me, eat all four flavors. Okay, but I can't hold them, otherwise they get moldy. These ones won't go moldy, they're special sweets. Don't eat them yet, you have to eat them in front of your family. Mom, open please. Sorry honey, you can't come in, we're eating. Well, I guess I'm gonna eat them all now, I'm curious to see what's gonna happen. Intelligence potion or rich potion? I'll choose intelligence, I know everyone will pick this one. Bye, mom. I'm going to school. I don't even know why I'm paying for your school. You're just dumb. I'm literally throwing my money away. It must suck to be stupid and poor, right? Yeah. This one has a complete package of bad things. Class, we have a test today. Amara, are you prepared to get the lowest grade again? <laughs> Let's see. You have five minutes left. I'm done. Here, sir. I'm sure my grade will be the highest. Congrats, Amara. You've got the highest grade. You've improved a lot. Seriously, sir? Yes. Congratulations. That's impossible. She cheated. I was watching the whole time. There's no way she cheated. Then let's do another test to see if she gets high grades again. Okay. Tomorrow we'll do another test. Let's make a deal. If I get the highest grade, you'll leave the school. And if you get the highest grade, I'll leave. Okay. That sounds like a good deal. Look, she thinks she can beat Sophia. Poor thing. She has no chance. Here's your test. You have one hour. A whole hour? It will be a piece of cake for me. Sir, I'm done. Me too, sir. I know I'm gonna win. Don't be so convinced. I need to check first. So, sir, who got the highest grade? Okay, so the student with the highest grade is... No one. Both of your scores are the same. Huh? Try check again, sir. I've checked. They're both the same. Okay, sir, how about we have a rematch? Yes, I agree. We'll be testing you both again tomorrow. Okay, deal. Look, I'll pay you £3,000 if you help me get all the answers right for tomorrow's test. Please make sure I get the highest grade. Yeah, of course, but you're going to have to pay me half the amount now. All right, fine. Hurry up before anyone sees us. Oh, so this is why you got a high grade. It all makes sense now. You're cheating. Whatever. You don't have any proof. It's my word against yours. Don't worry. I'll get proof soon. Just... Watch out. What do you mean you can't get the answers by tomorrow? I gave you the money. I'm not giving you any answers before you give me the rest of the money. Now. 
That wasn't our deal. You make sure I get the highest grade and then I'll give you the money. Well, change of plans. Here, just take the stupid money. Well, I guess I have the evidence now. I just need to show it to Sir tomorrow. Are you ready to lose? Everyone's gonna make fun of you. We'll see about that. Okay, guys, you have two hours to complete this exam. Sir, she's cheating. I have evidence. She's paying someone to make sure she wins. Where's the evidence? I have the video right here. Is this a joke? It's a video of a dancing monkey. What? But how? You! Me? I didn't do anything. See? She's just jealous of me because I got the highest grade. No, you didn't! Stop it, both of you. Sir, I'm done with my exam. Who is she? While you two spent your time arguing, Alex already finished her exam. Alex, I paid you to make sure I win. You just went and done the exam for yourself? So Amara was right. You did pay someone. I'll deal with you later. Let me check Alex's score. I'll be right back. Guys, it turns out Alex scored 100 out of 100. What? Sorry, guys. I guess we all know who the smartest kid in school is now. Bye. <sighs> vote for a safe world or a dangerous world? I vote for a safe world, of course. Why didn't it? It doesn't work like that. Everyone gets to vote, and the one with the most votes gets picked. You have to convince everyone to vote for a safe world. Because if this world ends, it's all your fault. Why my fault? Because it's all in your hands. Okay, this should be easy. Surely everyone wants to live, right? No one really wants this world to end. Okay, positive thinking. You can do this. Jake, you have lots of girlfriends, right? Please help me. Help you with what? Tell them to vote for a safe world. I only need a hundred people to vote. Okay, fine. I'll help you. Okay, hurry up, go. I didn't mean now. I have basketball. Can't practice. you just cancel? This is really important. All right, fine. I'll cancel. Yay. Thank you. Hey, Emma, will you tell everyone to vote for a safe world? Why should I help you? She's my friend. Hey, Jake. Okay, if she's your friend, I'll vote for a safe world now. Tell your friends too. Yes, of course. Girls, vote for a safe world. Thank you so much. Ew, don't touch me. I'm only doing this for Jake. Jake, thank you so much. Because of you, I've got 50 votes in already. Why aren't you saying anything? I've helped you enough. I really need to get to basketball practice. Bye. Wait, can I join you at basketball practice? I can just ask all your friends to vote for a safe world. There's going to be lots of people there, right? Okay, just hurry up. Guys, please help me vote for a safe world so we can all live. I'll only vote if you become my girlfriend. Okay, uh, vote first, then I'll answer. It don't work like that. Answer first, then I'll vote. Vote for a safe world, otherwise I'll get you kicked out of this basketball team. Uh, yes, Captain. I'll vote for a safe world now. That's it. We've all voted for a safe world. Thank you, guys. Um, I'll treat you with some water bottles. Hey, um, can I please have 50 water bottles? Yes, of course. Wait, why is there only 99 people who voted? I swear there was, like, more than 100 people who voted. Here's your drinks. I put them in a box so it's easier to carry. Thank you. Oh, yeah, miss. Can you please help me vote for a safe world? Yes, of course. Thank you. Wait, how come the number didn't change? It's stuck at 99%. Is everything okay? Yes, miss. Everything's fine. Thanks for the water. I'll pay you later. Bye. Hey, Jake, I'm curious. You also voted for a safe world, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. He helped me get a lot of people vote for a safe world, but he never voted himself. Jake, please help me vote for a safe world. I only need one more person to vote. I can't, Amara. Can't? Why? It's because I... Because I'm not from this world. Huh? Not from this world? Then where are you from? I'm from space. <sighs> You're joking, right? No, I'm being serious. Why isn't anyone saying anything? We're all shocked like you, Amara. We're not going to believe you, Jake, until you show us your spaceship. Spaceship? Why is everyone digging with their shovels? Because we're helping Jake hide his spaceship. <sighs> Jake, say something. Do you still want to be friends with me, even though I'm not from this world? Yes, of course I do. I don't care where you're from. Okay, if so, come with me. I want to show you my spaceship. Here it is. Huh? This is your spaceship? But it's so small. How do you even fit in there? Oh, there's plenty of space. Trust me. Hey, you guys. You're high school kids, aren't you? What are you doing in school at this time? That's the school security. We need to hurry up and cover your spaceship. Yes, please help me. Thank you guys so much for the help. Hey, Jake. Can I ask you something? Yeah. 
Why did you come to this world since, you know, you're not from here? Because there's nothing in my world. I like it here more. And I never expected to make any friends, but now I feel like I belong oh, here. Oh, cool. Mom, there's already 100 people who voted for a safe world, but why is it stuck on 99%? That's because the last 1% has to be voted by someone who's not from this world. But why? Because the votes are very important. Okay, Mom, I'll be right back. I know exactly what to do. Hey, Jake, my mom said the last 1% has to be voted by someone who's not from this world, so can you vote, please? Amara, I told you, I really can't. Why not? If you don't vote, I don't want to be friends with you anymore. Uh, okay, okay, I'll vote for a safe world. See? Easy. It's not about it being easy. If I vote for your world, my world will be destroyed forever. Wait, really? Yeah, this is all your fault. I'm just joking. Look at your face. <laughs> Don't worry, this whole time, no matter what people voted for, both of our worlds will still be safe. As long as no one voted for the dangerous world, of course. Smart candy or rich candy? Because my family is poor, I'll just choose the rich candy. Whoa, is my balance really unlimited? That means I'm rich! Finally! Bye, Mom. I'm going to school. Sorry, honey, but you can't go to school anymore. And why is that? Because I can't afford to pay your school fees. But, Mom, I need to go to school. Who knows? Maybe our destiny will change. I'm sorry, honey, but you just can't go anymore. I can't afford it. Mom, calm down. I have a solution. Try checking your bank account. Someone just sent me a hundred million. Was that you? Thank you so much. You're welcome. I have to go now. Bye. Look, the poor girl's here. Her clothes are so dirty. Yeah, and imagine how dirty her house is. She lives in a hut. Do you guys have a problem with me or something? Ew, you're poor. Don't get close to me. Huh? Poor? You don't know how much I have in my bank account. Yeah, probably one pound. <laughs> Children, please gather in the hall. What's the matter, sir? We're going to be checking your balance. If you have under a thousand pounds, you get kicked out. Why is that? That's not fair. You're just scared because your balance is under a thousand pounds. You don't know how much I have in my bank account, so you better keep your mouth shut. Hey, you two, stop. Get to the hall now. Let's make a challenge. If I have more money than you, you have to be my slave for a whole month. Okay, I'll accept your challenge. If I win, you'll do whatever I say for the whole month. Oh, trust me, you're not going to win this challenge. Okay, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready, sir. Oh, I can't wait to see you lose. We'll see. Okay, give me your phone so I can check your balance. Whoa, it looks like your balance is very high. You can stay in the school. Thanks, sir. Amanda, it's your turn. The total of your balance is under a thousand pounds. You'll be removed from the school tomorrow. What? That's not fair. I have a lot of money. I promise. Based on our examination, we'll be kicking five people out of the school as their balance is under a thousand pounds. We'll call their parents to let them know. I can't believe you lied about your balance, Amanda. I was only friends with you because you were rich. I didn't lie, I promise. My parents are rich. Yeah, right. Anyway, you'll be out to school tomorrow, so I'll never have to see your lying face again. Please help my child so that she doesn't get kicked out of here. I'll pay you back, I promise. Yes, Amara, please help me, please. Excuse me, miss. I'd like to pay for Amanda's school fees. Whoa, are you serious, Amara? You're so nice. Yeah, she's a lifesaver. Thank you very much. Anytime. I also want to pay for the remaining four students. Please don't kick them out. You're so nice. Okay, I'll call the parents now to let them know that they can stay in the school. Hey, Amara. Um, thank you so much for helping me out. That's okay, but please promise me never to judge anyone based on how much money they have because at the end of the day, money doesn't mean anything. Okay, I promise, and I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Amara! Amara! I've called you a hundred times and you didn't hear me. I'm tired of calling oh, you. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you, Mom. I need to get your hearing sharpened. Huh? Guys, my sense of hearing is getting sharpened, so you can't whisper around me anymore. What? Seriously? Yes, it was my mom's choice. Does that mean your ears will change too? Change? What do you mean? Yeah, they're gonna look weird. Oh, look, they already did. Why are my ears so long? I feel bad for her ears. They're so long, they make her look ugly. Why are you so rude to me? Huh? I was whispering. How come you heard that? So, I can hear everything now? Is this even a good thing? I should probably give the class a sudden exam. 
Sir, please don't. I haven't studied yet. What? I didn't even say anything out loud. I was just thinking it. I can hear people's thoughts. Um, sorry. No, maybe I heard wrong. Well, since I got caught, I'll just cancel it. Jess, I think there's something wrong with my ears. What's wrong? I think I can hear people's thoughts. If that's true, try listening to that new guy's thoughts. Okay. So, can you hear anything? Nope, nothing at all. Those ears attract a lot of attention. Yeah, I know. My ears are different than the others. No, not because of that. You can hear people's thoughts. How did you know that? I'm going to help you hear the new boy's thoughts. Sir, where did the new student come from? I don't know, but you have to be friends with him. You want me to be friends with him? Yes, you're good at making friends. Plus, I want you to get some information from him. But why? It doesn't matter. Just do what I say. The school must be hiding a big problem. Hi, nice to meet you. So, you're new here, right? He won't understand you. He only talks in sign language. Yeah, I'm new here. If you want to get to know me, meet me after school. Wait, so you can talk? I know you can talk. You just pretend to be mute. I want to take you somewhere and you're going to have to listen to people's thoughts. What? No, I'm not going to listen to anyone's thoughts. Just trust me, you're not going to regret it. We have to break into this house. But this is our teacher's house. I don't want to. I could get expelled. Just do it for everyone's sake. What's wrong with this house anyway? I think there's people outside. We need to leave this place right now before we get caught. Run! No, if we run, we won't be able to hear the teacher's secrets. You listen then. I'm not trying to get caught. Just one more time, please. You won't regret it. Someone's definitely listening to our conversation. No, I can't. I need to go home. Mom, I'm home. I saw that test you hid under the bed. You got an F. You're so dumb. You don't have to shout. My ears hurt. You're lucky I don't ground you. You should be ashamed of yourself. Sis. What? Why were you outside the teacher's house listening to our conversation? Why were you there? Oh, um, he helps me with homework. Private lessons? Seriously? Isn't that weird? Nope, not at all. Why are your ears smaller than before? They are. Maybe because you're abusing them. I don't care if I lose my ears. It'll be better for me because then my friends will stop using me. Wait, wait. Wait, what do you mean? The more you use your ears, the more likely they'll disappear. That's exactly what I want. But if that happens, you'll never know what the new kid wants from you. Yeah, you're right. Did you get any information about that child? Yes, sir. Yesterday he took me to your house. Huh? To my house? No wonder I was hearing people outside. What were you guys doing? He told me to listen to your conversations, but I don't know why. Good. Keep reporting to me, okay? I will now announce the test results. Sarah, you got the highest grades in class. Sarah? My sister? New kid, you got the second highest. You have to go to your teacher's house again to get proof. What proof? That he's helping your sister cheat on the exam. The new kid deserves to be ranked number one in your class. Your teacher has really bad intentions. You look so beautiful today with that dress. I think the teacher's with his wife. Congratulations on being ranked number one in class today. Ranked number one? That means... Sarah, what are you doing here? What do you think? You're going out with the teacher? You should be ashamed of yourself. I have to find the new kid. Don't worry, I've already called the police and they've arrested the teacher. But how? You don't have any proof. Yesterday when you left, I installed a camera in his house, so I have all the proof that I need. You're a genius. I have to choose between going to the bowels of the earth or the end of the earth. Mom, which one's safer? Honey, I recommend going to the bowels of the earth. Don't go to the end of the earth. There's many wild animals there. The bowels of the earth? Since no one's ever been there before, I'll be the first. I can't wait for my trip to the bowels of the earth. It's only 24 hours away. Wait, what did you say? Bowels of the earth? Yes, why? It's very hot there. There's no way you could survive. You'll die as soon as you get there. How do you know? No one's ever been there. Oh yeah, right. I'll look for more information about it because you're my friend. I don't want anything bad happening to you. Whoa, you said you were going to the bowels of the earth. That's so cool. Yeah, that's right. I'll be the first person to go there. At the same time, you'll be the first person to die there. <laughs> Honey, you have to bring these things with you. I prepared a bag. 
What's in the bag, Mom? Just take it with you. Don't open it until you get to your final destination. You're sure it's safe to go there, right? Yes, it's very safe. Don't worry. Here, for you, Amara. What is this? Death flowers. Guys, come on. I'll be fine. Let us know later if you're still alive. <sighs> Whatever. Honey, did you forget I'm allergic to flowers? Who gave them to you? <sighs> My friends, Mom. They're making fun of me because I want to go to the bowels of the earth. If so, throw them away. <sighs> That's probably them. They're here to make fun of me again. Oh, hey, babe. Why didn't you tell me you were coming? We have to break up. What? Why? I can't be with you. You chose the bowels of the earth. <sighs> Why don't you come with me? We can get married there. What are you saying? Nothing can survive in the bowels of the earth. I'm going to have to find another girl. Amara, I found information about your trip. You actually went to find it? Yes, it says there's a city that only certain people can enter. And what are these certain people like? Because yesterday you chose the bowels of the earth, you're not one of those people. Whoa, does that mean I'm a special child now? Goodbye, Amara. Good luck in heaven. Rest in peace, Amara. People don't know that there's a city there. I'll prove to them that I can survive. Hey, when you go to the bowels of the earth, can I come with you? Who are you? Little kids can't come. I've been there many times. What? Yes, every week I always go to the bowels of the earth. That's a lot of flowers. <sighs> yeah, they're from my friends. Oh, look, I only have a few seconds left before I leave. Three, two, one. Excuse me, do you know where... Do you have an access card? Access card? Yes, show me it right now. I'm sorry, but um, I don't have an access card. Only people with an access card can get in here. Please give me some time to go back and find it. Okay, I'll give you an hour. Huh? Only an hour? I mean, thank you, sir. I knew she was too scared to go to the bowels of the earth. Yeah, what do you think? No one dares to go there. Not everybody can. Only special people can go there. Mom, how come you're not at the bowels of the earth? I didn't have an access card. Why are you like this? Didn't I tell you to take this bag with you? I must have dropped it. Good thing they gave me another chance to come and get it. You should be able to take care of yourself there. I will, Mom. Please show me your access card. Here you go. Please come in. Welcome to the bowels of the earth. He's not even going to check my bag. Oh my gosh, it's so far away from the earth. Here's like ten times more advanced. Is that a flying car? And flying animals too? Hey, I've never seen you here. Reveal your identity. My identity? Okay, one second. Whoa, you're from London. That's so far away. Anyway, we welcome new people here all the time. Where should I go? I wasn't given a map or anything. Everyone here is just staring at me. Creepy. Hey, my name's Aria. Hi, I'm Amara. I'm from Earth and I'm new here. Do you know where you want to live yet? No, I don't know how things work here. You can stay at my house. That way we can get to know each other more. Okay, sure. So, this will be your room. It's perfect. But, um, I just want to let you know that I can't pay you any rent. I don't have a job yet. You're a special person, so you don't have to pay. People here are so nice and friendly. Is that your bag? Let me pack it away. Whoa, what do you even have in this bag? What are you doing? Why are you touching my things? You're crazy. I need to get out of here. There's no way you can get out because I have this tool and it can remove those in an instant. The door is back. Hurry up. Get out. Thank you for helping me. How did you get to the bowels of the earth? I told you. I come here often. I'm here to take care of my brother. Come with me. Let me show you your house. Whoa, it's huge. Yeah, this is where you'll be living. I live just around the corner. If you need any help, just call me. Here's my number. Okay, thank you. Be single forever or get matched with someone? I don't want to be single forever because I'll never get married. So, I have to be matched. Mom, I'm going to school now, okay? Why don't you have a boyfriend? All your other friends do. I don't know, Mom, because everyone says I'm ugly. No one wants to be with me. Just calm down. I'll find you a match and you'll get married soon. No, Mom, I don't want you to find me anyone. Look at that ugly village girl. She still hasn't got a boyfriend. Yeah, no one wants to be with her. What? I'm not ugly. Hey, Amara, you look nice today. You like me? You really believe I like you? Look at me. Do you know who I am? How could I ever like someone like you? Okay, guys, as you know, next week is prom. Please make sure you bring a partner. Poor Amara. She's going to be coming alone. Yeah, there's no way she'll show up with a date to prom. Mom, can you please find me a match? I thought you said you didn't want me to. Well, I've changed my mind. I've had enough of getting bullied at school. I need a date to prom. 
Okay, don't worry, I'll find you someone. I know the perfect person to ask. Hello, excuse me, are you Alex's mum? Yes, that's correct. How can I help you? I'm Amara's mum. Do you want to match our children together? Yeah, sure. Let me ask my son Alex first. Alex, I found you a girl. Her name is Amara and she wants to be your future wife. Me? Seriously? You want to match me with the neighbor's child? Her mum is so ugly. I'm sure she is too. No, her daughter's really beautiful. Just trust me. Amara, I want to introduce you to my son. Surely she's not going to accept a nerdy looking guy like me. Hello, nice to meet you. Wow, she's really beautiful. I messed up. You're very handsome. <clears throat> did you just say handsome? Yeah, I did. So, do you want to come to prom with me? Uh, you're not embarrassed to take me? No, why would I be? Okay, I'll come. But next time you see me, I'll look much better than this. Trust me. Hey, everyone. We already told you, you can't come to prom without a partner. Aren't you ashamed of coming here alone? I do have a partner, but he's in the toilet now. You don't need to lie, Amara. Even if you have a new partner, your partner couldn't be more handsome than me. Yes, he is. In my opinion, he's the most handsome boy at prom. He's definitely not better looking than my boyfriend. Okay, even if he is, my dad works in the biggest company in town. Now that I'm thinking about it, we need more staff to clean our toilets. What do you mean? You want my partner to clean your company's toilets? Yes, exactly. You guys are too much. You're underestimating me. You know that. <sighs> Finally done. Oh yeah, where's Amara? Oh, that's her. Amara, sorry for the wait. Whoa, he's so handsome. Amara, are you okay? My friends are always mean to me. Oh, so this is your partner. I've heard so many good things about you. Yes, indeed. Why? Is Amara seriously your girlfriend? You're so handsome. What did you just say? Did you just say he's handsome? Um, no, I meant he's ugly. As you know, my dad owns a very big company. And I care because... You must not have a job, right? Because I'm feeling kind, I'll offer you one. You can clean our toilets. That's enough. Leave him alone. Relax, Amara. We're just trying to be nice to our new friend. So, what do you say? Will you take the job? I'm sorry I asked you to come to prom and put you through this trouble. It's okay, you're my future wife. Your problems are my problems. Thank you. Dad, thank you for coming. Why did you tell me to come here? I found a guy who's willing to work for our company. He said he'll clean our toilets. Which guy? He's standing right there. Wait, Alex? Oh, so this is your dad. How do you know each other? Dad, why are you friends with an unemployed person like him? Shh, be polite to him. You don't know who he is. Huh? Seriously? A crop top? Looks like me and my soulmate have the same style, but I've never seen a guy wearing a crop top before. Oh my gosh, you can't wear that. It's too revealing. Why aren't you wearing the same clothes as your soulmate? I am. He's wearing this today. Do you have a problem with that? Hey, Amara, you should see my clothes. Whoa, is that a picture of your dad on your t-shirt? What's important is that I'm wearing the same thing as my soulmate. What are you wearing? Me? Is this? Are you serious? But that's a crop top. It looks really nice, though. How are you planning on finding him? I don't know. It's going to be difficult to find him because I don't think anyone in school is going to be dressed like this. Hey, Amara, what are you wearing? Quickly go change. But if I don't wear this shirt, I can't meet my soulmate, sir. I don't care. Go change. Huh? Why is there so many people here? I'm just here because our teacher's shouting at the new guy. I'm gonna call your parents to come to school tomorrow. You can't be wearing this. It's against our dress code. But sir, the reason I'm wearing this is because- Wait. I will change clothes first to prove who my soulmate is because me and my soulmate share the same outfits after all. I hope my clothes are the same as the prince. I've changed clothes. What about you? <sighs> Looks like I've changed clothes too. Me too. Oh, I'm getting confused. Maybe the prince has two wives. This is ridiculous. There's no way I'm sharing my soulmate with someone else. I really believe that you're the prince's soulmate. But how am I going to make him believe that? You have to get rid of that girl first. By the way, where did that girl go? Looks like she went and she's planning something. You have to be prepared. Did you hear? Apparently the prince has two soulmates. I think one of them must be lying. I know. I'd hate to be in their position. I wonder what they have to say once they find out I'm his soulmate. I'm home. Honey, you left the palace. I saw what happened on the news. 
Yeah, I left. The prince should be my soulmate, mom. You need to show him proof. He won't believe you unless you have proof. I'll help you. You again. What are you doing here? I'm here to prove myself. And how are you going to do that? By changing my clothes. Me and my soulmate share the same outfit. So if I change my clothes, then surely his clothes will automatically change. And if that happens, I will marry the prince. Me and my soulmate share the same outfit. So if I change my clothes, then surely his will change too. And if that happens, that means I'm going to marry the prince. Okay, so all I need to do is change this outfit, right? I'll just put on this grey top and if he's wearing the same clothes as me, that means he's my soulmate. Okay, I've changed outfits. Now I just need to find the prince. Where is he? You again! Why are you wearing the same outfit as me? I don't know, my outfits change randomly all the time. No, you're lying. You're doing this on purpose. You just want to steal the prince from me. Speaking of the prince, where is he? I don't know, I thought he was with you. Hey, have you seen the prince? Oh, you two are matching. <sighs> Answer my question. He's in that room over there. Finally, there you are. Wait, who is she? Guys, it's not what it looks like. Are you cheating on us? I can't believe it. I just met my soulmate and he's already cheating on me. Well, I don't care about this whole soulmate thing. Plus, this girl's cooking is way better than both of you. This is so weird. Why was he wearing the same outfit as us? Do you want to know why? Who are you? It doesn't matter. The reason why you're all wearing the same outfits is because you're all soulmates. Wait, what? Yes, but you have to pick who you want to be 